They got me talking crazy. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Wright out with the FHS Network. In these times of the coronavirus and COVID-19, the FHSA, the Florida Dairy Farmers, and the network have partnered to shine the spotlight on the great student athletes around the state. Normally, these students would be honored during the annual Florida Dairy Farmers Academic All-State Awards Banquet, but with everything on hold for the time being, we are sitting down to talk with the honorees over video. Over the next two weeks, we will continue to post these chats on Twitter at FHSAA and the Florida High School Athletic Association's Facebook page. Today, we will start with a pair of special awards, the Roger Deering Spirit of Sport Award and the Roger Deering Heart of the Arts Award. We're lucky to be joined on the line by this year's winner of the Spirit of Sport Award, Courtney Holmes from Christopher Columbus High School. Courtney, thanks so much for joining us and congratulations on the honor. Yeah, thank you a lot. Um, I'm proud and honored to be selected for the Roger Deering Award. It's just a blessing to uh, be able to select the, be selected for the award. You've had to overcome so many personal tragedies in your life, injuries, um, but probably the biggest thing for you personally was having to fight for your life after getting hit by a, a stray bullet. Can you just kind of take us back through that time period and, and what it was like to stay positive as you work through that? Yeah, um, my inner strength come from my guardian angels. I just know that I have to come back and be the person I am. Um, I, I, I come through a lot of perseverance and being able to know that the, the people that I surround myself with, surround myself by, just being able to, to be the team captain and just put forth my best foot for the team. Courtney, you've had to overcome so much tragedy in your life, as I've noted, and your nominating teacher described you as, quote unquote, the strongest, most resilient student that she's ever encountered. Where does that inner strength come from? Well, my inner strength comes from my guardian angels. My mom is one of those special people um, I remember her always encouraged me to be great each and every day. Um, I just had lost so many of my loved ones that was very important to my life. Um, just knowing that I have special people looking down on me and counting me to be the best that I can be, that's just inspiration to me. You're a team captain on the track team and the football team, a state champion in both sports. You donate your time to charities. You volunteer as a coach for a youth football team, and you serve as a mentor to a mentor as uh, to youths in your area. As you look back at your days in high school, what are you most proud of? Well, I'm extremely proud of myself. Um, I put in the hard work and dedication to be the best there is. I hold myself to a very high standard. Um, and the people around me just know that there's a lot of positivity coming from around me. So like they're like fall off the energy that I'm giving. Um, being able to face adversity and overcome so many art schools that's in my way, I solidify myself. I came back from the toughest injuries with my family and my friends and my teammates being there every step of the way really helped a lot. Um, I knew us as a team and we had the potential to be great and win state championships. Um, that was one of the biggest dreams that we had since ninth grade, and we just over we overcame any obstacle that was in front of us and was able to accomplish the goal. Yeah, and obviously those will be memories that will last a lifetime for you. Courtney, tell us what's right. next for you. Well, I'll be attending East Coast Prep in the fall for four months. Um, after that, I'll be starting Division One football, where I can get back to chasing my dreams and breaking records and any school that offered me the chance for the, to change their program. Well, thanks so much, Courtney. Congratulations again on a, a truly fitting honor and all the best in the coming months. Yeah, thank you. Remember, we'll continue to catch up with our 2020 Florida Dairy Farmers Academic All-State Award winners over the next two weeks. Stay tuned to the FHSA's Twitter and Facebook pages for more. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.